Hey church, thanks for joining us today as we kick off our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Uh, so good to share devotion with you and uh, lean into what we're going to be praying for today and for this um, season. Uh, it's exciting to be standing together. We're believing for breakthrough. And um, whatever you're fasting, uh, however you're doing it, please lean into it. Don't uh, be distracted. Let me encourage you to stick with it. Maybe push through with something that you've not done before or um, don't take the easy option because we're, we're really wanting to make space um, for God to do something um, miraculous in our lives, in our communities, in our city. And as we make space for God, he always uh, shows up and um, he's going to do things in our heart and in our lives. It's going to be fantastic. Um, but I just want to kick us off with a theme today. And as we start the 21 days of prayer and fasting uh, and we're in the build up to Easter and um, I would really love it, church, if we could pray for salvation every day. Um, you may want to uh, have a person that you're believing for, that one individual that God has put on your heart that you're going to pray for every day uh, and believe is going to find salvation. You want to pray for salvation in our church. But I really feel like we need to lean into this uh, theme. Um when Jesus first called his disciples, um, you'll notice they weren't the finished article. No, he called them just as they were. And um, fishermen, tax collectors, doctor, all different walks of life. And yet he called them into relationship with him. Um, just looking at the account in Luke chapter 5, uh, when he calls Peter, and um, he was immediately aware of his sin and the distance between him and God. And um, Luke chapter 5, verse 8, uh, Simon Peter says, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. And he'd fallen to his knees there and understood the distance. And yet Jesus didn't ask him to work on things first, but he just called him as he was and accepted him and brought him into relationship with him. Required nothing. And um, just a couple of verses later, then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So they put up their boats on the shore, left everything and followed him. Now, it's great, isn't it? Like, Jesus didn't take applications to be a disciple. There's no audition process or entry requirements. He went to where they were and he called them. And when he called them, it wasn't that he's, you know, needed some heavy lifters or someone to carry his bags or he needed their help with his ministry. It what he saw was that he saw how much they could be helped by being with him. And he called them along for the ride so that they could become the men who changed the world simply by being with him. But right from the beginning of that part of the discipleship relationship, part of that calling, um, there's that they were called to be fishers of men. You see, being in relationship with Jesus goes hand in hand with being a part of God's awesome rescue plan for mankind. Um, I don't know if you've ever um, taken on a, a, a hobby or an interest of someone else just by being in relationship with them. Um, when I first started dating my wife, um, she was into horses. And so I became into horses and <laughs> I was very interested in mucking out the stables and helping with the feed and just because I wanted to spend time with her and um, in a similar way, when we're in relationship with Jesus, when we're living in this freedom, when we're living in this truth, um, it's amazing, isn't it, that we should be adopting um, the same things that Jesus is passionate about. And um, right from the beginning, we're going to be fishers of men. And he's placed us in our worlds to influence and share God's love with the people that we see every day. And um, that is our calling. As a follower of Jesus, uh, we need to be fishers of men. So as we kick off this season, um, like I said, we're going to choose one person that we can pray for every day to find salvation and breakthrough in this uh, in this season. Uh, and I've also got just a few things for us to pray about today with the mission of the church and uh, how we can focus. So first thing I want us to pray for is our world. Those in your world that don't know Jesus yet, your family, your neighbours, your work colleagues, let's pray for salvation and a true revelation of who Jesus is. 
Um, second thing I want us to be praying for today is I want us to pray for our city. Um, you know, let's pray at this Easter time that we'll see a huge wave of salvation in our city through the Easter services, uh, through the Big Give Easter. Uh, we've got an amazing Easter show in Manchester and invitational services in our other campuses and um, big Easter celebration on Sunday. It's the amazing opportunity for us to invite uh, and see um, people come to faith, come to hear the gospel for the first time. Uh, we want to pray that our ch as a church, we take on the responsibility of inviting our friends and neighbours uh, and our family. And it will be an amazing harvest of salvation in our city. And uh, the third thing I want us to pray for uh, is for beyond. In our world, in our cities and beyond. And it'd be great to pray for our missions trips this year. Audacious, we've got a number of missions trips. We're going to Rwanda twice. Uh, we've got a trip to Geneva uh, and a trip to India, as well as local missions in Chester and other places. So let's pray that the right people sign up, step out and uh, allow God to use them and grow as they engage with the projects and um, out of their comfort zone into another environment. It's going to be amazing. Let's pray for the projects themselves as well as we're in the villages, uh, in the areas, working with the people, uh, helping the poor and the vulnerable and sharing the gospel in many different parts of the world. It's going to be amazing as you introduce people to Jesus. So let's pray for beyond as well that we see salvation. Ultimately, we want to be a part of God's awesome rescue plan as a church, whether it's our own little world, whether it's the cities that we live in or beyond. Uh, we want to be a part of God's awesome rescue plan. So let's lean in that as we pray today. All right, church, let's go do this.